going to show you how to make the Parthenon out of foam. I've started by putting all my staples out because I'm going to need them to join all the bits together. The next thing I'm going to do is to mark out north, south, east and west. Because you always want to know which bit is facing where. East, south, west, north. <coughs> We're going to go into the bases next, and here there are three base pieces. The middle bit, the east bit, and the west bit. And these have to be held together by staples, otherwise the whole thing will begin to pull apart. Okay. The next bit is to put in the star of the show, and this is Athena. She has her own place right in the centre of the Parthenon, in the middle of the temple. We're going to build the temple walls up around her. <coughs> Where are we? There we are. These had pillars marked on the inside of them. If you look at the bottom you'll find that there are words that match up with the words on the bases. Now there we go. South wall, oops, the columns face inwards. Now that's Athena all closed in. She has a special door. You'll notice that there are red arrows. Most of the things on that side are red. The ones on this side are green, just as an extra reference. And these ones need to be held together with a staple. These are the triangular staples for the corners. This is, after all, a fairly flexible material, this uh, foam, it can be twisted and bent into shape if it starts warping, but it is going to happen, especially if you don't store it absolutely flat. That's the inner temple. There's also a treasury building. Here are the walls for the treasury. In the middle of the treasury are four columns. All the columns get pushed in, and there's a little mark which is about where the columns should come up to once they've been put into place. Treasury East Wall, and the door into it, the Red Arrow West Wall. And the treasury has a ceiling as well, which goes across the top. Like that. We'll clip those in in a minute. The next thing we need is the side walls with the frieze. This is the north frieze. South freeze. And these also need to be clipped together with a range of different staples and so on. But you'll find out which ones go where when you muck around with it. Staples have little markings cut into the foam, so you should be able to work out which bits go where by the shape cut into the foam. Corner ones. 
pockets will make the inside walls nice and secure and strong. Okay. And the last bit of the inside part of the building is the uh, colonnade with the east freeze and the west freeze. This comes like that, it's going to go up there. Best way to do this is to fix the columns in with the thing upside down. This seems to work better that way. Doesn't, it's not the way it would have been built, of course. Uh, line them up with the ring cut into the base. Don't try and push down because you could damage the base. And clip that into place. There we go. Already put the columns into this one. These columns are the smaller ones with a red marking under them. The columns on the outer bit of the building are larger and don't have the red marking. So that's all the inside of the building done. Now, the frieze is written on here, it's drawn on there, but if you wanted to do a, an extra activity, you could show the colour of the frieze and the fact that it was joined on. In the middle is the Peklos scene, that's just one off on its own, with the um, that goes in the east end there. These just clip into place. But once you're mucking around with this flexible material, they have a tendency to fall out as you do with the rest of the, as you go on with the rest of the building. So it does give an impression, at least, of how it might have looked. So I'm not going to do the rest of that, but there's enough there to go right the way around. So we're going to go on to the outside of the building now, and we've got the end colonnades and the side colonnades. Let's start with the east end, again already fixed together with the columns, line them up. A little twist should get them down easily without having to press too hard. Other end. And the sides. The northwest and tabulature. Northeast. Beginning to look like the building, especially with the roof off. When the explosion went off, the path on all of the middle bits were blown out pretty much, so the freeze and the surviving parts of the middle bit of the building are the worst damage. And then the same on the other side. together we're using staples again. That's to hold the two and tablets and pieces together. And there are actually four little tiny clips with markings on them. And those go here to hold the ends to each other.
you can see one of the little freeze bits fell out then. No matter. You can't see them now. The last bit to put on is the roof. And here, southwest roof, northwest roof. Uh, there we go. There we go. Southeast. Northeast. Just check everything's in place. All looks good. And we're done.